would happen, how many, do we know if any of those credit deficient students pass the proficiency exam? We, we didn't search for that. Well, I think that might be an interesting way to look at it because <clears throat> I think we're pretty good about at least getting people to take the proficiency exam. Um, we start having kids take it when they're sophomores. Um, and I don't know if it, if, it, if it is worth the effort, but it would be very interesting to me to know if our, did half of those credit deficient students pass the proficiency exam and therefore did they have, even though they maybe didn't take all the classes or whatever, have the knowledge that was deemed by the state to be the things you need to know to have a high school diploma? Uh, keep in mind that, that the proficiency exam is a minimum requirement. I know it's minimum. It's not but the it is, high school standards. But it is a minimum requirement. And that mm -hmm. I would be very interested yeah, uh, to know good. that because, because, yeah, you can't get a diploma without it. I mean, you can have all right. the credits and still not get your diploma. So what about the flip side Other of that? Way around. Um, good question. We didn't look at that. I think that might be something interesting to talk about from a policy perspective. And I'm a, well, this may be a silly question, but to me, whether you call the rose a dropout, vanished, or credit deficient, in reality, if the child does not go home with a diploma, they're non diploma Right. And so whether you want to call it a dropout, they're <coughs> all non diploma -ed students, right? They didn't go home in hand with a diploma, which to me is what our ultimate goal is, correct? Is that every child goes home with a diploma. So I don't want to get caught up with a conversation about the percentage of our dropouts. I want to have a conversation about the percentage that did not go home with a diploma versus the percentage that did go home with a diploma. Because I don't care what you call them. They didn't have a diploma. That's exactly right. The reason that we did break them out like this is because um, the solutions for the different colored pies are different solutions. Although, as Paula Marca commented when we first got this pie, this is 2020 hindsight. The issue is how do you predict four years before which area a student is apt to end up with and then address that? Uh, but the reason it was done this way was the solution, for instance, for the dropout students, if you could identify them before the end of the year, um, is going to be different from the solution for the vanished, at least some of the vanished students where it's a data management issue in many cases. And it'll be different from a credit deficient student who was motivated enough to stay in school, unlike the dropout, but didn't get the credits. That's why we just broke it out this way. But you're absolutely right. The issue is graduates or not, did you get a diploma or not? Mrs. Porter. Okay, that 13% that's credit deficient, <coughs> could some of those then come back and be fifth year grads, get an adjusted diploma, or a certificate of attendance? The fifth year grads are not in the yellow 13%. They're the 2% that's the blue a little farther down to the right at about six, 7 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, the students who did come back in their fifth year and got an adjusted or certificate of attendance, yes, they're counted there. And in your data profile, the actual book you got, this one, uh -huh. there is a table in the, at the end in the appendix of the high school graduation report <laughs> that actually shows the breakdown of the credit deficient and uh, vanished students by code. And you'll be able to see how many did come back and get a certificate of attendance, how many came back and got an adjusted. It's in here in a okay. table. All right. Um, and my other question is, I'm surprised that your phone isn't ringing off the hook on graduation day, because I know we always have a few, you know, I didn't know my kid wasn't going to graduate, you know, the family's coming in, et cetera, et cetera. And maybe Nancy. Maybe Ms. Gorber would know. Um, being a principal, do you typically <coughs> have 10% of your kids that it's a surprise at the end that they didn't have enough credits? <coughs> it's not a surprise. I mean, we're constantly working with those students. That's why we do those four-year plans. And at the beginning of the senior year, the, uh, 
the counselors go over it. So probably to answer your question, the reason we don't have a lot of phone calls at the end is that there's that constant communication between the home and the school about you know, where their students are at that point in time. So they know. Um, and in, in your chart that, that I haven't apparently I missed, um, does it indicate if their credit deficiency, where their credit deficiency occurred? No, we did not analyze that. One of the things after this got finished is that um, Paul Lamarca and Jan came up with a, a million different things of, okay, now that we know this, what, what other things do we need to know? And that's, that was one of the clear issues. Their credit deficient, okay, in what subjects, how many credits, when did they get credit deficient? Okay. okay. You know, but no, that, we don't have that data. Okay, the final slide. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, today's not the time to, to go into detail because as, as the questions have shown, there's, there's always a, a secondary story to each one of these categories. But, but I, I guess I would, I would differ a little bit with what you were saying a minute ago, Barbara. The, the yellow area is certainly an area of concern and certainly important to our efforts. But, but I would distinguish uh, completely between a, a student who quit and a student who went, stayed to the end. To me, those are two totally different categories of people. And yes, we, we need to be concerned about all of them, but I would not lump those two in the same category at all. Um, so just, you know, looking at, these, at this, piece, this data a little bit differently, um, absolutely we need to find a way to affect this 13% number. But that kid stayed for four years, maybe even five years. And to me, that's a different kid than the kid who just said, I quit. Well, yeah, but the bottom line is... No, I they realize still, the bottom line, but right. they're two different, two different well, categories. They're two di they still don't have a graduate uh, a diploma. And yes, you, I agree with Ann that you would treat them differently. You figure out how to solve it, but they still didn't get a diploma. And I guess they could be one credit away from them, or two credits away, and, but they still statistically don't have a diploma that's going to help them out in the, the world. Uh, do, Leslie? Do we follow up with um, GED? Um, actually, it's interesting that you ask that because when advocacy created its own little, you know, we're going to do this our way kind of thing, one of the blue pie pieces was going to be GEDs. Um, but we learned that... Um, uh, a lot of, the, the, the district basically quite often doesn't know whether the student got a GED or not. Some students get it through the district and the district knows that, but a lot of them get it through other sources and we never find out whether they got it or not. Uh, <coughs> Dr. Lamarca has some neat ideas to try to capture that information in the future and if so, that would be another blue pie slice if we could get there. Um, but that is not information that uh, the district has as easily as they have all this other information and so it would take some figuring out how to go about and try to get that. Even if we didn't capture everybody, <coughs> those that we do know would certainly change the, I think, change the flavor of what we're looking at. Yes, it would affect your, your dropout and credit deficient. You probably, your vanished one you wouldn't know because they're vanished, but yeah, it, you, would, you would change that left-hand side of the pie and you'd have a new blue section there. 